I was giving a talk at a senior center here in Charleston recently, and, and don't laugh when you hear senior center, you don't think of seniors and sports medicine, but this is a sort, uh, sort of a wellness center for people in their 50s and 60s. There probably were a few people there in their 70s, but I tell you this because I was given the talk and one of the questions I got at the end was somebody probably in the early 60s who asked, you know, he sees all these pro athletes undergo, you know, some kind of surgery and they get back to play in three or four weeks or six weeks or they have some injury and they're back on the field right away. And his thought was, you know, I get these aches and pains all the time and then I'm wrecked for months. Why can't I recover like that? And I think it's a really, really good question. I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide education and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise, injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention for athletes and active people, probably much like yourself, so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. Now, I think that the, the topic, that whole question leads to a great discussion point is, how can you recover like an elite athlete? What steps? do they take to recover from a hard training session or hard competition that you could do to get over a hard training session or hard competition. And there's really four things that I would suggest, things that I've seen elite athletes do and I think that you ought to think about doing as well. The first thing that I think elite athletes, professional college athletes do really well, especially the pros that take their job, which it is, it's a job for them very, very seriously, is they sleep and they sleep a lot. Sleep is so crucial to your body's recovery. You know, you cannot, I, I know you've got a busy work schedule. I get it. You, got, you may have busy family life and kids, lots of things going on personally on top of all your training and yes, all your competition, but you have to sleep. Your body needs it to recover. It regulates your hormone levels, which are so important for recovery. So you have to sleep eight or nine hours a day. You just have to. You have to find ways to do that. Take naps if you need to, but you have to let your body recover so that it's ready for another hard training session. Another thing that pro athletes do, college athletes do, I think it's really important is cold therapy. Now, when I was the doctor of a professional soccer team, they had this big whirlpool. They'd put The athletic trainer would put water in it and then he would dump all sorts of bags of ice in it and he would get it really cold. And then one of the players, multiple players, you know, eventually would get in and they'd stay in for eight, 10 minutes. And I mean, brutally cold. They would sometimes wear, have to wear scarves to keep their upper bodies that were out of the water warm, or you know, basically to because their lower bodies were so cold, but it helped them recover. Now that may seem excessive to you, and I don't know that I could do that either, but try cold packs, you know, short, short periods of time, maybe cold showers, and see if the cold helps you feel better. If you like it, maybe you try longer and longer sessions, you know, more exposure to ice to help you recover, especially for muscle and bone uh, joint and pain. Okay, another thing that you may think about trying, I think that's really important in professional and college sports is those athletes have an off season. The NFL goes six, seven months when you consider training camps all the way through the Super Bowl. The NBA, same thing, it's about six, seven months. Major League Baseball is about seven or eight months, but they've got time where they're not playing. That time gives their body basically time to rest so that they can come back, you know, they can still lift weights in the off season and get their body in shape, but it gives the areas where they're stressing constantly, you know, running like soccer and uh, athletes. It could be uh, lower body with jumping like the knee and the ankle for uh, basketball players. It could be the shoulder and elbow of pitchers in baseball, but those months give their bodies time to rest. You could do the same thing. You may say, hey, look, I really like to run. I'm not gonna take three or four months off. Well, maybe you cut back you know, in your off season to only running one or two days a week, but you do other things so that you're still getting a good workout, getting your strength, getting your cardiovascular fitness, but you're decreasing stress on those parts of the body. So maybe you swim or maybe you cycle, things like that, but give your body some time to rest, create an off season. The last tip I have for you, so important for the elite athletes is anytime they have an ache and pain, they get it checked out. Now sure, they've got big teams of athletic trainers and physical therapists and team doctors, no question. But you have access to that 
as well. Maybe you don't have them right there next to you every day, but you can go to a doctor. You can go to a physical therapist when you start to have some ache or pain that lasts more than two or three days. Go get it checked out. Make sure it's not something bad. Most of the time, it's gonna be something that's easily treatable. You just modify a few things and you're good to go. But potentially, you can find out as well if it's an injury that potentially is serious or one that you risk making worse better to find out early before it becomes a more serious injury. So those are my four suggestions on ways that you can recover like an elite athlete. Do you have any suggestions? You know, maybe you're an elite athlete. How do you get over a hard training session or competition? Or what have you seen people do? If you're an athletic trainer or physical therapist, what tends to work for the average weekend warrior that we see elite athletes do? Because we, at the end of the day, we want to get back to sports and exercise as quickly and as safely as possible. So below this video, share your thoughts. I'd love to hear them, and I know other readers would love to hear them too. And please share this video with people People that are training in sports and exercise, maybe these suggestions can help them recover like an elite athlete as well. Now, if you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I record a couple of these videos every single week and I'd love to deliver those directly to you. And there's so many other resources that I create, audio and written content, yes, and video content that I share with my email list completely free. So go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com, enter your name and your email, I'll deliver those directly to you. Thank you so much for watching. Again, share your tips for ways to best recover from sports and exercise, and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.